What's interesting about TRVL is that we've had quite a lot of volume this month already. Yeah. And um, we've come and have a nice reaction of the value area low. We're already into a We're already into a monthly swing failure. See that? It's quite bullish, huh? High volume. High volume. Look at that volume on that candle. Really high volume. Look at that. Almost as much as the previous month already. And we're only half... No, we're more than halfway. We're like almost three, two-thirds in. Uh, three-quarters in. And we've got a swing failure of the previous month. We've had a really bullish reaction off the value area low. And... And uh, so it's looking quite bullish, in my opinion, really bullish reaction. You, this the monthly candle hasn't ended yet, but we're already into a swing failure of the previous month, high volume, and a bullish reaction of the value area low into uh, this monthly order block. Um, basically, it's come down to this monthly red candle. It's really bullish reaction we're experiencing right now in TRVL. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. I don't want to kind of... Uh, I'm not making it up. Um, sorry, I just want to answer these questions. Uh, and I'm going to do TLV. I've got a couple of questions. Jacko Erasmus. Hi from South America or South Africa. I don't know which one it is. South Africa or South America or something else. Could you have a look at ETH? Sure. Angel, your, your garage, garage BTC trade on. I've just done my BTC analysis. So if you go back to the beginning of the stream, um, you can have a look. Yeah. I was in a short. I think I got stopped out. Oh, I didn't get stopped out. Wow. Let me have a look. I didn't get stopped out. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right, back to TRVL. Um, look, I think this is quite bullish already. We're seeing, starting to see the beginning of a bullish reaction here on the monthly time frame. Let me just quickly have a look at the three monthly time. Look at the three monthly time frame. Uh, I said that three monthly candle uh, wasn't bad because you had a kind of a bullish reaction at the low. We've gone down. We've taken the liquidity from the three monthly candle, having a bullish reaction. Uh, so we're having a lot of bullish reactions right now. This is the six monthly candle. Look at this six monthly candle. The six monthly candle has only just begun. Yeah, it's only just begun. So don't Im imagine what's gonna what this could look like in five months time, five and months and one week time. We we're at the beginning of the six month candle. We've gone down. We've gone down. We've cleared the liquidity from the lows here. This inverse hammer, the six month monthly inverse hammer, is ultra fucking bullish. Yeah, inverse hammers in the lows with high volume are really bullish. You buy those. Those are the candles you buy. You buy those candles. Yeah, if you're gonna buy, this is the place to buy. Yeah, don't mess about now. Don't fade out and think, oh my God, I'm waiting for lower, lower, lower. No, this is it. Yeah, this is the moment of glory. Yeah, this is this is the this is the time to to scale in, to limit in, to whatever in. Yeah, because you've got a, you've got a really bullish uh, inverse hammer, and and now we're having a really bullish reaction. Clear the liquidity from the previous candle low, and the volume is is quite nice. I'm I'm seeing quite nice volume. On this monthly candle right now you can wait for safety and you can wait for safety you can go for it <laughs> and why not go for it <laughs> it's already it's quite an illiquid token so at these prices and so naturally if you're going to go for it go for it now don't wait because that as soon as it starts pumping it's going to become it's going to be very difficult to buy yeah it's going it's not going to be easy to buy uh, and so we're getting a little bit pull up, pull back. All that I think we, we want to see now on TRVL is a higher low. Okay. So we've had a we've put in a higher high. I looked I looked at it at the stream yesterday. I didn't make a an edit. And we've taken out this high. We've put in a higher high there. Uh the bearish we have a reaction. That's basically because of Bitcoin. And now we are coming back into looking for support right so we come back looking for support it doesn't look like it right it looks like a bit of a sell-off but actually what's happening is that people are taking profit because obviously they are they would just had like a 49 percent increase in value okay within a short space of time people are taking profit 
and now the price is looking for support the reason why it's looking for support is just finding where people are interested in buying this token people see the bullish reaction they see the impulse they see the higher high and naturally people are thinking to themselves okay i'm going to try and catch the higher low okay that's what's happening right now um right now we're into the golden pocket from this pivot you go all the way back down to this low here that was put we're not in it yet so take your pick usually i think this one the first one is probably the best one just that first impulsive uh price action but if you want you can just you know you can go back it doesn't really matter that would be an sr flip of these pivots you see those pivots that would be an sr flip so if we can find support that would be naturally into the golden pocket that would be naturally a good place for the price to find support and then if the price is able to impulse and take out that high guess what market structure change bullish for trvl that's kind of what you want to see i think trvl is actually doing quite well in comparison to a lot of other altcoins or tokens that i'm seeing yeah and um obviously the the project is growing and expanding and 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 you can see all of the activity on um on twitter can't you um so yes so definitely 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 i think um this is a, we're, we're coming to a place where it might be a good place to buy um we've kind of had a little bit of an impulsive price action a higher high all we want to see now is a higher low imagine if we do see a higher low here and imagine if the price does go up and take out that high then you're looking at an inverse head and shoulders pattern with a breakout hopefully at the same time as bitcoin we'll have a really nice breakout hopefully breakout past 5.5 uh you little back test and hopefully we can just we can rampage that's kind of what i'm imagining at the moment if that happens then on the higher time frame uh then you'll be looking more you'll be you'll, you'll be looking more of a a kind of like a rounding bottom uh idea and then the next like i said in my stream yesterday the next uh target would be to take out that weekly pivot put in a higher high on the weekly time scale and then change market structure on the weekly time scale okay so i think trvl is a really 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 good opportunity right now uh, we've had our first kind of impulsive buy we're having our first kind of pullback you buy the first pullback after the first impulse yeah you wait for the price to settle you wait for the price to find support and then you can buy or you can just scale in okay and if you do decide to do that then obviously the invalidation which is really important will be just these lows yeah so it's quite far away isn't it it's quite far away that's this low isn't it so um that's the problem so obviously the closer it gets the more this is like 14 percent away obviously the lower it gets uh the more lucrative it is the more the less the the, more, the less risk the more reward because then you're only risking x amount like four percent whatever and potentially you're still looking for the same thing you're looking for some kind of impulsive uh next wave okay trvl does this so right? it kind of goes up and it goes down like this in straight lines but in the future hopefully if we get to higher prices we'll have a little bit more of a uh, a more liquid market and uh, more volume too so definitely uh definitely 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 i think trvl could be good uh people are looking at this previous uh, yesterday's candle thing oh my god that's a freaking ugly candle it is pretty ugly yeah? it's like a bearish engulfing candle now we're seeing continuation it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because we're just coming back into support and we that's that's basically a take profit candle it's not people selling because they're bearish this candle is people selling because they've just had a 50 percent increase in value yeah so if they caught the price here why would they not sell that's what that is as a take profit it's not bearish to take profit it would be bearish to dump because you're not bullish on this project but how can you not be bullish because we've just had people buying all the way up to 4.4 cents higher than the previous highs yeah so we just want to change market structure now that's all we want to do uh, and so yes bye 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 that's all i <laughs> that's my sentiments on trvl all right uh i hope that helps anything else on trvl let's quickly have a look at uh the btc chart and see what that's saying mm, okay so it's kind of in the lows here we're not really getting back into the value area yet and so uh you could wait you know it is possible to wait i think if the price did get back into the value area then actually uh that would be a much safer buy 
but you know there's still a there's a big price jump between the there and there's like 20 percent so um yeah Could we be forming an inverse head and shoulders here? Potentially. Uh, I don't see a high, a high here. So actually, no. Again, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, that's largely due to do with Bitcoin, to be honest with you. All right. Uh, and that's TRVL, right? Any questions? Oh, Jack Erasmus said South Africa. Okay, welcome. Welcome. All right. Um, let me go back to Bitcoin, have a look. 